Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan de Guzman and our topic for today is Right Triangle Similarity Theorem for Grade 9, Quarter 3. So right triangle similarity theorem stressed that if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the two triangles form are similar to the original triangle and to each other. So we will talk about the special properties of right triangles. So when the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, the length of the altitude is the geometric mean between the segments of the hypotenuse. Also, when the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, each leg is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to that leg. So to understand more on the special properties of right triangles, let us look the triangle here. So we have the size R, S, and T. So the first one, I have the area A such that I have the side R, S, and T. I'll twist this one a little bit so it will look like this. So we have the area A and we have the side R, S, and T. Next, I'll chop the original triangle into two smaller parts. Uh, I'll call this one as area C and area B. So I'll put this one here. For area B, so we have the size W, S, and B. On the last part, I have area C. So the area C is, will look like this, but I'll twist this one a little bit. So it will look like this. So the area C has the size U, W, and R. So since I've been able to chunk the original right triangle into area A, area B, and area C. So let's find out the altitude W. So altitude W is the geometric mean between U and B. So we will use the definition of similar polygons in the right triangle. So if I have B and C, so we have here the area B and C, now to, we will get the ratio B over W is equal to W over U. So using the cross products, I have W squared is equal to B U. So to get the W, I have W is equal to square root of B U. Next, if I have the leg R, here is the leg R, is the geometric mean between T and U. So we have T and U. So we will consider the area A and C. So T over R is equal to R over U. So using the cross products, I have R squared is equal to TU. So R is equal to the square root of TU. Next, so we have leg S here. It's the geometric mean between T and B. So T and B. So we will consider the area A and B. So take note that B over S so B over S is the same as S over T. So using the cross products, I have here S squared is equal to BT. Solving for S, I have S is equal to the square root of T times T. For the application of right triangle similarity theorem, so let's look on the illustration on the right side. So we have here the side 12 and we have side B and side C. So let's determine the values of F, B, and C. So let's start with, okay, F. So take note that F is equal to the geometric mean between 5 and 7. So we have F squared is equal to 5 times 7. So F is equal to the square root of 35 because 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Next, in order to find the value of B, so this is the geometric mean between 12 and 5. So again, we have b squared or b times b is equal to the product of 12 times 5. So again, b 
squared is equal to the product of 12 times pi is equal to 60. And take the square root of both sides, so b is equal to the square root of 60. But 60 can be factored as 4 times 15. So b is equal to, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. And we will have 15 as the radicand. Next, in order to find the value of c, c is the geometric mean between 12 and 7. So c times c is equal to c squared, and 12 times 7 is equal to 12 times 7. Then take the square root of both sides, so we have 12 times 7 is equal to 84. Okay, but c is equal to square root of 84, and 84 can be factored as 4 times 21. Take note that the square root of 4 is equal to 2, and we will have 21 as the radical. So therefore, the value of C is equal to 2 square root of 21. Let's move on to the second example. So determine the values of T, B, and C. Let's look on the illustration on the right side. So we have here the leg C and the leg 6. And the hypotenuse is equal to 18. Take note that 18 is equal to the sum of T and B. So we'll start with 6. So 6 is the geometric mean between 18 and B. So we have 18 and B. So again, to find the value of B, so that is equal to 6 is equal to square root of 18B. Then we'll take the square of both sides. So it means that 6 squared is equal to square root of 18b squared. So I can factor out the square root n squared. So we have 6 squared is equal to 36 is equal to 18b. Looking for the value of b, divide both sides by 18. So the value of b is equal to 2. So take note that, okay, 18 is equal to the sum of t and b. So if I want to find the value of t, so that is 18 minus b. Since I found out that the value of b is equal to 2, so t is equal to 18 minus 2 is equal to 16. Next, so n is the altitude, n is the geometric mean of t and b, and b is equal to 2 and t is equal to 16. So n is equal to the square root of 2 times 16. Take note that 16 is a perfect square number. So we have the square root of 16 is equal to 4 times the square root of 2. So this is the value of n. Finally, we want to find the value of c. So let's see is the geometric mean of t and a t. Take note that t is equal to 16. So again, c is equal to the square root of 18 times 16. But I can factor out 18 as 2 times 9 times 16, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3, and the square root of 16 is equal to 4, times the square root of 2. So therefore, c is equal to 12 times the square root of 2. So that ends our lesson on right triangle similarity theorem. Again, this is Teacher Onan de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.